Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. Today I am here. I'm not outside, where am I? I'm in Wild Child TV Studios doing some interesting work, a little bit of work coming up for you guys. Entertainment, you'll love it. It's not in the football scene, but that doesn't matter because today we are here in Aberdeen. We are here for Aberdeen versus Rangers. It's a game I've been wanting to get to for years now. And finally, we're here. And it doesn't get better than that. Do you know why? Because we're in the red shed. The Aberdeen Ultras formed this year. I've been getting a lot of noise, making a lot of noise. And tonight, I get to review it for myself. Aberdeen v Rangers, if you know the history of them, you know Scottish football well. I don't know what's happening here. Fans are getting blocked off for the police. So the police are carrying out searches for every single person that's coming through here. Jesus. Am I finally through? Jesus. We're outside the ground just now, the wind is mad, but I'm telling you something, it's got nothing on this rivalry. Tonight it's going to be gruesome, it's going to be hard hitting, it's midweek. Rangers and Aberdeen have both got something to prove tonight. Rangers currently sitting second, Aberdeen, they're just behind them in third. They are 10 points behind them, so it may make a difference tonight, but tonight is most likely a most win for Aberdeen. It's our biggest match of the season. Let's go and see what the fans think. Rangers, they need to win this as well if they've got any chance of winning the title against Celtic, which is another 10 point gap. Let's get round and see what the fans think. This is a rivalry that goes back decades and it went to prove in the last game. The last game saw Aberdeen fans pull out a banner in the middle of Ibrox saying kill all Huns, sparking fury at Ibrox, sparking fury across Scottish media. Which makes tonight's game even tastier. Boys, biggest game of the season. Rangers, yeah, what's happening tonight? 4 uh, 0. 4 0. 4 0, do you think so? Uh, After Saturday? Aye. Uh, Duke, Duke last minute winner. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. Right, Legend it's my first time in the Red Shed. What can I expect tonight? Atmosphere, atmosphere if we score. Yeah. Yeah. If we play well, it will be superb. Think so? Is this the biggest game of the season? Yeah, by far. What's the score going to be? Go quickly. 9 0 Rangers. 9 0 Rangers? Yeah. Third dozen. 3 0 Aberdeen. 1 0, deep last minute. 2 1, two, one Aberdeen. Enjoy the game, boys, thank you. Right, we're here with. Caleb and Michael. Good stuff. Right, guys, biggest game of the season. Grand Eye, you getting in? Grand Eye, you getting in? Come on in, right. right. Biggest game of the season. Isn't it? Is this a must win? I better hope so, eh? Definitely. Right. Has to be better on Saturday, doesn't it? Aye. Uh, right. What's the score going to be? Can they get the result tonight? 1-0 Aberdeen. Aye, absolutely. 2-1. We need to turn them on. Need to. Guys, enjoy the game. Thank you. Right, it's windy, it's cold. And I am absolutely Baltic. This is not Glasgow weather at all. Let's get in before I freeze myself off. And we're in.
let's get in and see. This is going to be a cracker. There's our Rangers fans over there. And that's where we are going to sit tonight. And we're in. Look at this place already. 20 minutes to kick off. Look at the noise. Tonight is going to be a cracker. Look at this noise. For a midweek game. This is what Scottish football is all about. I'm excited for tonight. The teams are out. It's time. Second, V third. Saturday with a sand, they're going for it tonight. Exactly the start Aberdeen didn't want. Exactly what they didn't want. 
Madison this time. If somebody else can step up, we'll see. Massive chance here for Aberdeen just before half time.
think I'm going to try that. Christmas dinner pie. Right, so it's half time. Aberdeen won, Rangers won. What a free kick. I think that's probably one of the best goals I've seen on this channel. If not the best, I mean, wow. The limbs as well. Is that better than the Dundee United ones? I don't know. Possibly. Wow, what a goal just before half time. Both teams end to end. Both teams are in it. It's crucial for both teams. I think it could end a draw. Both teams get to win, but so second half, we're going to see at least another goal, I think. We'll see a red card, I think. It's very feisty. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. But half time, I've got my Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner pie here anyway. And we'll wait and see what happens in the second half. Saturday sitting right in the edge of that 18 yard box. Oh, oh. Big, big. Wow. How's he missed that? He's just passed it right in the joke. No, Russia's hands. What a chance, Arthur. Can't 
三二一，得。struggling to process it because I have never ever seen anything like that in my life. Aberdeen fans, I'm really really sorry for you. As a Partick Thistle fan, I know the pain, I know it, and it happened twice to us in a row um, against Rangers as well. So yeah, Rangers fans, fair does enjoy it because that doesn't happen very often and wow, what a comeback. I don't think anybody expected that and yeah, early Christmas present for you guys anyway. Um, I'm not actually going to be doing a review on the match experience. I've already done one. If you've watched my channel, you'll know I've been to Petardo before at the uh, Dundee United game back in February. Quickly, I'd just like to thank those fans that I met at Petardo tonight. The ones that did recognise me from my videos before. Your support is unmatched. I appreciate every single person and I try my best to speak to every single person that I meet. So thank you for helping me out. Um, Fair play to Rangers, they got the result in the end and they will be looking to go into the old firm game with a bit of confidence now. Michael Beale managed to get the result, scraped it and that's two games at a two now. So we'll see where it goes. As for Aberdeen, very tough under Jim Goodwin. 
there's going to need to be a turnaround because that's two games in a row where they should have got a result and they've not. Um, and I can see Aberdeen formed in the pecking order very soon if things don't get sorted. Aberdeen fans, you were unbelievable tonight. That support, wow, I didn't expect that. And I'm going to be honest with you, I am very, very impressed. I've been all over Europe and Aberdeen, you're definitely up there. Where should I go next? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you for joining me in this one. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.